Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise and this is the continuation video of solving previous year university question paper. That is November 2022 financial management. Okay, so in that we are solving section B 5 mark questions and section C 10 mark questions. Okay, you can find the playlist link in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to solve section C 10 mark question first one cost of capital. Now, let's get into the video. See the question. Following information is available with regards to the capital structure of Edwards Limited. Okay. The capital structure is there. Debentures, preference share capital, equity share capital, retained earnings. Okay. Amount also given 12 lakhs, 4 lakhs, 8 lakhs and 16 lakhs. Okay. After tax cost of capital percentage also given 5 percentage, 10 percentage, 15 percentage and 12 percentage. Okay. With this information, they are asking you to calculate weighted average cost of capital that is WACC, weighted average cost of capital. Now, let's see the solution. See the solution, calculation of weighted average cost of capital. Okay, the first step is we need to record all the data which is given in the problem. Okay, sources, amount and after tax cost of capital, 5%, 10%, 15% and 12%. Okay, now the first step is we need to find out the weights for each and every component of capital structure. For that, first we need to find out the total. 12, 4, 8, 16. Total how much? 40 lakhs. After entering the total, now we need to find out the weights for first component. For that, 12 lakhs divided by 40 lakhs. Okay, I am just writing the short form. 12 by 40. What is the answer? 0 0.3. Next component is 4 lakhs. No, 4 divided by 40. That is 4 lakhs divided by 40 lakhs. What is the answer? 0 0.1. Next one, for equity share capital, 8 lakhs divided by 40 lakhs. 8 by 40. What is the answer? 0 0.2. Next one, 16 lakhs divided by 40 lakhs is equal to 0 0.4. Okay, so this is the formula to find out weights. For each and every component divided by total, you will be getting weights for each and every component. After finding the weights, now we can find out the weighted average cost of capital because we have after tax cost of capital proportion is there. No, now simply multiply with weights in order to find out the weighted average cost of capital. 0 0.3 into 5, 1.5. 0 0.1 into 10, 1. 0 0.2 into 15, 3. 0 0.4 into 12, 4.8. That's all. Now find out the total. 1.5 plus 1 plus 3 plus 4.8. You will be getting... 10.3. Okay, this is total weighted average cost of capital. Okay, so this is the way to solve this kind of problem.